overcome the drawbacks of waterfall model v model inaugurated the industry so many flavors of v model available we will discuss one of the flavor important flavor before that quality see importance of quality see in order to overcome in order to overcome disadvantage of v uh, disadvantage of waterfall model v model inaugurated here before going to discuss v model some quality concepts quality general term quality <coughs> what is quality <coughs> lalita do you have any idea general term what is quality tell me in your own words no standard definitions required tell me in your own words what is quality perfection okay perfection okay now you tell me muttu what is quality ah uh. hmm okay it has several definitions okay your definition is measure of measure of standard measure of standard less clarity okay see quality means general term quality means uh, meet customer requirements and expectations meet customer requirements and expectations see a requirement is one factor expectation also one of the factor suppose i asked uh buy a pen for me you bought a pen good pen but i expected uh 10 minutes time or 15 minutes time but you take 2 uh, hours or you took 3 hour 2 uh, hours or 3 hours time to buy a pen that is that is not my expectation you fulfilled my requirement you bought a pen for me but not not my, not in my expectation my expectation is 15 minutes or half an hour maximum but you took 3 hours time that is not my expectation see meet customer ex, uh, requirements first first thing is requirement meet customer requirements and uh, expectations is called quality see it has no limitations it has several definitions also i told one of the classic uh, classical definition traditional definition next when it comes to software quality see quality not only ah sorry to interrupt you ah Uh, one that i was uh, saying in terms of quality uh, meeting the industry standards ah uh, ah uh, so me ah uh, uh, see meeting industry standards that is correct but earlier you told another way uh, measure of standard like see see you you told uh oh, uh second time what you told tell me meet uh, meeting industry standards yes meeting industry standards that is also quality see some benchmarks are there in industry see some non governmental organizations are there in industry to define quality some non government organizations some government organizations also there but famous are non government iso non government ieee non government cmm also non government private organizations but the voluntary organizations dedicated organizations they uh, they 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 set up some uh, benchmarks see your definition also your definition also correct see meeting industry standards that is also correct 
but what i told is general definition general okay welcome see software quality software quality software quality see here uh, some technical factors non technical factors are there meet customer meet customer requirements meet customer requirements next uh, meet customer requirements in terms of functionality in terms of functionality next meet customer expectations expectations in terms of performance usability etc performance usability portability portability etc performance okay i think all of you familiar with performance uh, what is usability what is usability kiran tell me kiran what is usability you ah uh? use usefulness of project absolutely wrong can you tell me reka what is usability software usability how well okay okay some better see uh, user friendliness of the system user friendliness of the system look and feel aspects next alignments fonts etc next portability what is portability uh, muttu tell me muttu what is portability so that it could be moved from one system to another ah uh, see uh, supporting different platforms supporting different platforms see uh, some some applications supports only uh, windows environment some applications support only unix and unix flavors like linux but some applications support all types of operating systems that is portable system see portability means not only operating system portability means supporting different technologies different platforms see <coughs> these two are technical factors meet customer requirements meet customer expectations next cost next time to release see apart from see first two are first two are technical factors last two are non technical factors see require meeting customer requirements and expectations okay but cost also important suppose if you say more cost see customers not able to purchase your product cost also if it is if it is a reasonable cost customers can bear it next time to release time to release time also very very important factor in it industry Hmm. Tell me, Kiran, what is software quality? What are the technical and non-technical factors? Technical factors are meeting customer requirements and meeting customer expectations. Ah.
cost and time to release. Okay, okay. Put me out. <coughs> Next. Yesterday, uh, last topic, I think uh, Muthu asked one question. What is Muthu? QA, some. You try to ask it now. Tester. See, actually, QA, quality assurance. Put me out, I will explain. Lot of difference is there, but nowadays, companies are mixing that term. Some companies using uh, QA term for testing team. QA team means testing team. No. Actually, as per industry standards, QA is different, tester testing is different. QA team is different, testing team is different. But nowadays, some companies mixing that concept. Some companies using that QA term for testing team. Actually, that is not correct. Here, two terms, quality, quality assurance, quality assurance, uh, called QA, QA, next, quality control, quality control, QC, quality control. What is quality assurance? What is quality assurance? Defining, monitoring, and optimizing the process. Monitoring, uh, first, defining, defining, defining the process. Defining, monitoring, and optimizing enhancements. Defining, monitoring, and optimizing the process is called quality assurance. Quality assurance is prevention oriented. Prevention. Prevention oriented. Next, quality control. Quality control is actual testing. Testing a, testing a component or system with, uh, with respect to requirements. Actual testing. Testing a component or system with respect to requirements. Quality control is detection oriented. Quality control is detection oriented. Quality assurance is prevention oriented. Uh, did you understand this concept, Muthu? Yes. Tell me what is quality assurance and what is quality control? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 component uh, component system with respect to requirements. Requirements. Okay. Next, two more terms regarding this one. Verification. Verification, validation. <coughs> See, quality control, validation, testing, all synonyms. Verification, validation. Uh, do you read these terms, uh, uh, Kiran? Tell me what is verification, what is validation? Can you tell me, Muthu, what is verification? Verification in general terms uh, here also, here, here also verification prevented, prevention oriented, validation detection oriented. Yeah. Hmm. You see if it matches, oh. verify, you check whether something is correct or wrong. Hmm. Uh, validate is 
approve no say verification prevention oriented verification typically involves in, uh, in, in um, this one reviews and meetings verification typically done by reviews and meetings of quality work products quality work products means documents see srs is see real time term quality work product quality work product srs is work product brs is work product design docs work products see verification prevention oriented verification done by uh, typically done by uh, reviews and uh, meetings reviews and meetings suppose <coughs> one building construction is there checking the building is validation checking the building plan checking the building plan is verification did you understand this concept kiran yes ah suppose building construction or bridge construction is there any project checking that uh, product checking that product means checking that product means final outcome checking that final outcome is validation checking the work products means documents see so suppose if you check building plan definitely you can identify uh, some mistakes then you can easily rectify that one prevention oriented uh, now tell me muttu what is verification what is validation <coughs> Ah. So typically done by reviews and meetings. Ah. Uh, quality work products. Ah. Uh, like examples are SRS, FRS. Ah. Uh, and design documents, etc. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. So based, uh, for example, we are checking the uh, building plan. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Checking the building is. Uh, building our final outcome is validation. Validation. Ah. Uh. Now. from the definition for validation what is validation validation uh, ch uh checking the final outcome yes final outcome with respect to requirements is validation checking the final outcome or final product checking the product final product with respect to requirements is called validation here <coughs> quality assurance verification synonyms uh quality control validation testing these are synonyms see next come to v model v model v v stands for verification and validation verification and validation here what is v model see it is a framework it describes all development stages with respect to testing stages see in this model development stages and testing stages connected multiple stages of multiple stages of testing available in this uh, v model multiple stages of testing one minute see v stands for already told the industry uh, so many variants of uh, v model available this is one of the variant see <coughs> verification versus uh, validation see first user requirements first user requirements after gathering requirements after gathering requirements reviews as like in sdlc reviews review means verification review means verification after gathering requirements 
reviews take place then after reviews next uh, approvals reviews different types of reviews available in the industry first one is informal review first one is informal review next technical technical review next peer review next inspection inspection is more powerful anyhow we will discuss these review types in uh, static testing chapter <coughs> now just remember in the industry different types of reviews are there uh, informal review technical review next uh, peer review peer means colleague next uh, powerful review is inspection powerful review more formal review is inspection okay see it depends on feasibility companies choose uh, review process see after gathering requirements business analyst documents uh, requirements after that uh, peer review or technical review happens peer review means peer means colleague same category people after reviews then approval superior superior gives approval after approval we can say the document is baseline document baseline means finalized next software requirements here converting converting business requirements to software requirements next ah uh, ah uh. what would you say superior the for user requirements this is another business analyst business analyst is the author of the document ah uh. ah uh. Yes, project manager. Yes, yesterday I told. See, business analyst role is independent role. He communicates with development team and the testing team, but he is directly report to manager only, project manager. Already I told. Four roles uh, important. What are the four four important roles in uh, the software development uh, process? Tell me. Uh, Kiran, 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 Kiran. See, just uh, I, I give brief description about job structure. Tell me, Kiran. Can you tell me, Reka? a uh, project manager under project manager four important roles are there what are the four a uh, uh, first development team development team teams development team next testing team next business analyst next uh, technical support people next is some uh, temporary roles also explained can you tell me muttu temporary roles domain experts domain experts suppose we are new to insurance project say we invite 20 years or 25 years experienced person from insurance industry and we provide training to our development and testing teams uh, the term is sme sme what is sme subject matter experts. ah subject matter experts subject matter expert so temporary roles not uh, permanent roles okay say <coughs> after uh, is from converting non technical doc non technical requirements to technical requirements then 
architect, uh, system architect. Then every day, every, in every stage reviews. Here also reviews approvals. Next global design. Yesterday we discussed global design. What is global design? Tell me Mutu, what is global design? Ah, what is the level design? What is high level design? Just the big picture. Hmm. Can it? Does it go into the specific details of each and every task? Hmm. But the detailed design must go into the specific. Ah, see, overall structure of the system. Overall structure of the system. <coughs> See hierarchy of modules, hierarchy of modules, and integration of modules. Overall design of the system. In, uh, hierarchy of modules, parent module, child module, sub child module, like uh, hierarchy of modules. Next, uh, integration of modules, relations. Okay. Next, detailed design. Okay. Only, uh, for every project, one HLD, multiple LLDs. LLD or detailed design. Multiple LLDs. What is LLD, Kiran? Kiran, what is LLD? <coughs> ah. LLD. What it describes? Good. Yes. Internal architecture of every component. Internal architecture. Overall architecture, internal architecture. Okay. Next, based on these uh, high level and low level design docs, developers develop code coding here based on detailed design based on detailed design developers perform component testing based on detailed design developers developers perform component testing what is the source for component testing tell me Muthu, what is the source No. What is the base for component testing? Detailed design. Here, see here. Detailed design versus component testing. Global integration. Software requirement system testing. User requirements acceptance testing. See. Component testing based on Tell me, Muthu, component testing based on detailed design. detailed design. See, detailed design describes internal architecture of every component. So, de uh, developers perform developers perform component testing based on detailed design or low-level design. Detailed design or low-level design. <coughs> and one more thing. Here... <coughs> Role is testing, but testers vary. Testers vary from one stage to another. In component example, in component testing stage, testers are developers. Why? They only know internal architecture, structure of the system, code. <coughs> See, the tester, the activity is testing or I can say task is testing but testers may vary from one stage to another in component testing stage testers are developers in acceptance testing stage testers are end users okay first component testing here developers use already told in waterfall model 
single stage of testing here multiple stages of testing multiple stages of testing so quality guarantee not not guarantee but um, more quality you can expect more quality than waterfall model okay Here, prevention orientation is there prevention is there detection is there prevention is there detection is there okay <coughs> see for component testing developers use white box test design techniques white box or you can say glass box or you can say clear box white box uh what are the white box test design techniques actually our concern is not white box testing but just know the concept already i told that one tell me kiran give some examples for white box test design techniques <coughs> kiran <coughs> yes statement testing decision testing condition testing etc condition if x greater than y x greater than y is condition condition testing next compound condition testing multi condition testing <coughs> <coughs> can you tell me muttu what is decision <coughs> sorry what is decision uh, what is decision in computer in, in computer programming what is decision <coughs> decision point where control flow where control where control flow divided in, uh, into two or more paths okay na where control flow divides it into two or more paths okay say here component testing developers perform put mute developers perform component testing using white box test design techniques like uh, uh, statement testing condition testing multi condition testing and decision testing next integration testing integration testing okay he, if if they find any errors here in component stage code errors if they find any errors they modify that errors okay next integration testing integration testing based on tell me muttu what is the base for global design see global design describes overall architecture of the and hierarchies of the uh, components here one more thing i forgot component <coughs> another name also another names also there synonyms also there tell me kiran first day i explained that one <coughs> what are the other names for component kiran what are what are the other names for component motto a uh, unit unit r a uh. module see component or unit or module or program testing <coughs> see widely using term is <coughs> component testing but in india unit testing term is famous but all are synonyms next integration testing based on global design a uh, here also most of the companies using developers for integration testing but no restrictions some companies using independent testers also integration testing using white box test design techniques sometimes black box test design techniques also required but most of the time developers perform this type of testing uh what they perform they check uh, interfaces of the system interfaces of the system 
next interactions with the interactions with the system interactions with with the system that means interactions with uh, operating system and other software see integration testing uh, what they perform in integration testing tell me muthu what developers perform in this uh, integration testing ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సిస్టమ్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ కాంపోనెంట్స్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ కాంపోనెంట్స్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ ఇంటరాక్ట్స్ ఇంటరాక్షన్స్ విత్ సిస్టమ్ మీన్స్ కంప్యూటర్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ అదర్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్స్ నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ system testing system testing based on what is the base for system testing kiran software requirements, software requirements. <coughs> here nowadays most of the companies using independent testers independent testers like you people independent testers say independent testers perform system testing independent testers perform system testing based on software requirements they write test cases unit test cases also there integration test cases also there that we will discuss in test cases and documents chapter see independent testers generate test scenarios and cases and they execute <coughs> test cases on integrated system integrated system whole system if they find any mismatch they report to developers developers fix those defects after analyzing the defects they fix defects after fixing defects independent testers testers confirm defects confirmation testing uh, the term is a regression testing after confirmation testers close defects next <coughs> next after performing final regression test lead test lead decides uh, when to stop testing then acceptance testing acceptance testing based on business requirements or user requirements acceptance testing based on user requirements uh, who performs uh, this one acceptance testing uh, tell me kiran who is here here testers end users end users say end users perform acceptance testing based on user requirements end users perform acceptance testing based on user requirements see they don't know about <coughs> see end users not aware of software requirements and other things they know only business requirements they perform acceptance testing based on business or user requirements here acceptance testing also see in a high level orientation we call acceptance testing performed by end users like but when it comes to low level acceptance testing also three types important one and mandatory one important and mandatory one is user acceptance testing uat user acceptance testing <coughs> end user performs 
end users perform user acceptance testing based on user requirements or business requirements next one more testing is there operational operational acceptance operational acceptance see technical support people from customer side customer side also technical support people there technical support people from customer side perform operational operational acceptance testing operational acceptance what is operational acceptance see how system is installing they check installation and un uninstallation process they check installation and uninstallation process and they check uh, coexistence of the software coexistence of software with other with, with others next uh, input and output devices handling secondary storage devices handling next data backup and recovery operations this is called operational acceptance but primary thing mandatory thing is user acceptance testing uat next the third one also there that is certification testing certification testing can you identify the testers for certification testing motu certification testing certified testers certified testers perform certification testing this is also subset of acceptance testing subset of acceptance testing certified testers perform certification testing who is certified tester can you guess mutu who is certified tester what is certification exam give names ha ha istqb istqb iscb uh, cste csqa etc hello yeah yeah i'm listening see uh, uh, who is certified tester istqb tester csde tester no no certified tester means see that is private concept here in acceptance area certified tester means who knows industry standards and local government rules and regulations who knows industry standards and local government rules and regulations they are called certified testers see uh nowadays in north america and west europe certification testing also uh, one of the important concern for healthcare systems and uh, and some financial systems see certified testers perform certification testing based on industry standards and local government rules and regulations okay see <coughs> this is about v model v model v shape model v v stands for tell me kiran v stands for v stands for verification and validation verification and validation okay next tell me muthu advantages advantages tell me muthu advantages <coughs> ah so one thing can be ah good <coughs> next uh, multiple stages of ah see prevention oriented na see it is prevention oriented we can avoid defect multiplication 
we see it is prevention oriented framework we can avoid defects multiplication one thing next one in this model multiple stages of testing available so definitely we can increase the quality next disadvantages also there can you tell me disadvantages kiran identify the disadvantages of v model no idea okay see it is expensive model when it compares to waterfall model it is expensive model than waterfall model isn't it muttu <coughs> yes ah uh, see in waterfall model low usage of environmental and uh, human resources here different teams different activities so uh, expensive expensive model and complex model when it compares to uh, waterfall model this is one disadvantage next one one problem is there in waterfall model see adapting requirements at middle of the process is difficult here also same that problem not rectified see we can increase the quality by performing multiple stages of testing and by prevention oriented mechanism we can avoid defect multiplication but in this model also this is also sequential model in this model also adapting requirements is difficult Mm. tell me tell me uh, muttu last concept for the day tell me what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, v model good ah uh. Oh. Uh, mm. 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 Uh, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, we'll meet uh, tomorrow same time. Thank you.